Okay, right here is a 1964 Euclid 9UPM Series L30. Now before we go and take a closer look at this loader, let's talk a little bit about the history behind this machine. Following the introduction of Euclid's first articulated frame rubber tire wheel loader in 1958, which was the Model 3 UPM Series L20, Euclid engineers then began testing a second new and larger articulated frame rubber tire wheel loader in 1959, three years later after continuous research and development in 1962, Euclid officially introduced the Model 9 UPM Series L30. The brother to this machine, the smaller 7 UPM Series L20, was also introduced that same year. Now, let's go and take a closer look at this loader. The 9 UPM Series L30 was rated at 3 cubic yard capacity, and an optional wheel dozer version of the L30 was also offered by Euclid, depending on what the customer preferred, equipped with a 10 foot wide front blade. As you can see, the front loader attachment on the L30 is very much different than what you would find today on a modern articulated frame rubber tire wheel loader. Let's take a closer look at this design. If you look right here you can see where the two bucket cylinders are located and you can see where they connect to the back of the bucket to curl the bucket in or out. Here you can see one of the loader arms, and here you can see where one of the hoist cylinders connects to the inside of the loader arm, and this is what will raise and lower it. Mounted on the front of this loader, directly in front of the operator's cab, is the diesel fuel tank, which you can see right here. Right here you can see where the two sections of the loader are pinned together. From underneath here you can get a good view looking at the transmission on this loader, which is an Allison CRT3331 Torquematic Transmission. And if you look right here, on the side of this machine's frame, here you can see the original manufacturer's plate with the machine's serial number, and you can see where it says 9UPM. Mounted on the left side of this loader is the hydraulic oil reservoir tank, which you can see right here. Now, let's go up and check out the operator's cab. Unfortunately, the cab door on this loader is locked, so I will not be able to take you inside. However, by looking through the side window right here, you can get a good overview of what the inside of the operator's cab on the L30 looks like. Now let's talk about what some of these controls do. The two hand levers that you see directly out in front of the operator's seat below the steering wheel control the transmission. The uppermost hand lever controls the loader's direction. Push forward to engage the loader in forward gear and pull back into neutral and reverse. The lower hand lever is for gear selection. The 9 UPM Series L30 has three forward speeds and three reverse speeds. The two hand levers that you see off to the right of the operator's seat control all the digging functions of the loader attachment in the front. One hand lever will pick the loader arms up or lower them down, and the other hand lever will curl the bucket in or out. And from right here you can get a crystal clear view of what the operator would see if he were running an L30. On the right
right side of this loader, here you can see the single air intake and air cleaner for the engine. Now, let's take a closer look at the powering system on this loader. The L30 is powered by a Detroit 471 inline four-cylinder diesel engine that develops 144 flywheel horsepower for this loader, which you can see looking right under the hood here. And the engine in turn drives the hydraulic pump and the Allison Torquematic transmission. On the back of the machine's counterweight, here you can see the grooves for the engine radiator. And the overall operating weight of a 9 UPM is 13 and 3 quarter tons. In total, just over 800 of the 9 UPM series L30 loaders were built by Euclid. In 1965, the 9 UPM series was replaced by the new 17 UPM series, which featured an increase in power achieved from a larger Detroit 6V53N that developed 171 flywheel horsepower. Other improvements included an Allison CRT3630 transmission, an increase in bucket capacity up to three and a quarter cubic yards, and an increase in operating weight up to 16 and a half tons. Later on, in early 1966, the 17 UPM Series L30 was renamed the Model 7240 CA before being renamed yet again in late 1966 as the Euclid Model 7251, which featured an increase in power from a new Detroit 671N that developed 191 horsepower, a new Allison Hydro Power Shift Model TT4420 transmission, and an increase in bucket capacity up to three and a half cubic yards. But there she is. Euclid's second articulated frame rubber tire wheel loader, a 1964 9UPM Series L30.